That's just, you just don't leave track. Then forget it. I'm gonna <laughs> crawl on my belly and drag that cooler out of the area. Oh. Okay. As a I'm bear? scared how you're looking at me. Where are you gonna bear? drag it? Like, as a human. As a human? Yeah. You're able to do that? Are we on the second floor though? Alright, uh, make a Are screen you that check. strong? If you're a bear, um, you can do it without any problems. Yes, I'm. S it's a cooler. Oh. Oh, oh, a fog cloud appears. All of a sudden, you oh, see a bear. bear come out with a cooler. I don't want to know. It's I don't want to know. I don't want to know. He's looking for Coca-Cola. Uh, I, I don't want to know. Yeah, you didn't move it. Okay. Yeah, it's a cooler, dude. It's it, the, the thumping, now that you're trying to move it, is coming really rapidly. Just open the cooler. Okay. Roll initiative. <sighs> wah, wah. Just open the cooler! Well, you take forever. It was going to happen sooner or later. Seven. 18 plus a 2 is a 20. A uh, 17. Plus? No, that was together. Oh, yeah. You get to go first. What did you get, Chester? A uh, 20. Nice. And <laughs> wizard? 7. You are fast. And Enzio? 17. <laughs> OK. You open the chest. You react faster. There is a, uh, it looks like a thick blood-like pudding that reaches out with pseudopods trying to envelop your head. What? Oh, it's like the goop from the sewer. And you kind of like you here for that. swat it away and back off and it's your turn. Close the lid. Close the lid. <laughs> Do you have a freeze spell? I uh, actually. <laughs> Do you not use it? The 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 amount of ooze that's come out of it, it's now like standing about one foot higher than you. It's and, just a blob of black. And we can see it through the fog. Uh, you can see it through the fog. I'm going to. Can I We're still move hidden, away and yes. just wall of fire? You can wall of fire on the cooler. Okay. You know, make it angry. That's exactly Melt what you want to do. Melt the cooler into the blob. We're in a textile mill, by the way. This should be awesome. This is exactly <laughs> what you want to do. I already said it, so Why don't you like, just let it out? You should be nice to you. You should ask it what's what's going on. Ask you it, just what? it just tried to grab me. Yeah, because yeah, you let it out of the cooler. It was trying to give you a hug. I don't speak slime. Maybe it was trying <laughs> to thank you. Slime me. <laughs> slime. Maybe it was trying to thank you. Cthulhu. Okay, where is... They're trying to thank you. That's what I said. No, he's not trying to say Yeah, it's, it's trying to thank you with its fucking mouth. Okay, uh... Hey, maybe that's how it likes to thank Friday you. Friday night. Roll 5d8. Good. Jeez, that's a lot of eights. Wow. Here you go, here's one. Thanks. Yeah. Here's, another one. here's another one. No, that's a ten. Alright, so we're gonna do it this time. Two, 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 two and two. Here we go. Here. There you go. Okay. Come on, Bob. Four, two, and a three. So that's six plus nine. Sorry, crumple your notes. Eight, six, and a three. So that's nine. 17. Good, thanks. And now just two. Seven. So that's 24 plus the nine is 33. Nice. That is quite good. <laughs> that is quite good. It is quite good. Good, good. Quite a good move you did there. And then, something that was planned for later in the counter, but Love you it. accelerated by what you did. <laughs> Opening the case. <laughs> no. Setting them on fire, I'm assuming. No. Uh, as I mentioned before, there's the cooler in the middle, two bodies, the bodies and there alive. is several barrels of tanning solution. Mm -hmm. Tanning, tanning solution, solution is... Highly flammable. flammable, and it's got a lot of alcohol in it. Way to go! Aww. So all of you make a dexterity save. I'm all ready. right, we're getting blown out of building. Eleven plus what? What am I plus in here? Oh good <laughs> lord! <laughs> That's okay. Thirteen. High AC. Thirteen. Yeah. Okay. Seven. I got twenty-three. Enzio, because he's a thief and has invasion. Basically rolled out of the way, jumped out of window, kicked, kicked one of the. Whoops, that was a soda. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering what that noise was. Kicks it wasn't one of the shelves and hides behind it and is unscathed by the flames. Yeah, buddy. 
I got skills that kills, that's why. Oh, good lord. Wow. Guys, I'm really sorry. It's all right. I don't care, I'm behind the shelf. <laughs> I'm good. I got your back, dog. You idiots. <laughs> You're a brilliant idea of shooting fire in a freaking textile I'm building. Okay, both of you take 20 points of damage. Who? Oh, me? Mm-hmm. You too. You couldn't get out of the way because you're not quick like I am. It's the only, the only place in the world I'm actually quicker than you guys. However, on top of that, <laughs> so do the, the pudding. Oh, Love it. Not the pudding pop. The pudding pop. Oh, oh, no, I not the pudding. Bows in the blue as a blouse. <laughs> blue as a blouse. <laughs> like like my side the box. CEO. CEO. No, the pudding pop. Now it's your turn, Enzio. There is a huge... The the just pulse of fire as these barrels just explode in the middle. <laughs> the like cooler is like all dented. And there's the big giant ooze coming out of it. What is there a window the nearby that I can jump out of? You could. Yeah, I'm going to jump out of a window and get out of here. Because we should not be in there. You're... What is Melf's acid arrow? Safe. Behind it a shelving arrow unit. of acid, dude. You've used it like tons yeah, of times. Well, the fire is not going to stop. Is the, the fire before. still going? Yes. Yeah, your wall of fire is still going. Oh, good. It goes for like an hour. Did you not pay attention to this? Well, until he stops concentrating about it. And also, like, those barrels exploding, which are causing more fire, which is going to cause more fire. So this thing building. is just going to catch on fire. It's just a burning yeah. building we're inserted right now. Yeah, you get the fire. When out. this explosion happened, you did hear something upstairs. Well,. Why don't you go upstairs since you're the quick one? All right, I'll run you upstairs. You brag about it all the time. I'll run upstairs. Get Digby. Even though I should be out, but I'll run upstairs. Get some all right, the judgment. stairs are in the back of the warehouse. Of course. So I gotta run across the burning building. Unless you want to climb one of the chains up. Yeah, I'll climb one of the chains up. All right, make a string check. Is this the 21? Yep. God, idiot with your fire. Wall fire. 19 plus 3. All right. Two. He basically gets behind his wooden shelf to use to protect himself. Jumps <laughs> off the shelf. shelf. Wait a minute. Back it up. I jumped behind a wooden shelf in a burning building. Yeah. It's not the brightest rock in the world. Yeah, but <laughs> it's, it's not like, fire. Whoa! Yeah. If Wait a minute. A, if, there's a, <laughs> if there's a wave of fire coming at you, getting behind a table is better yeah, than I just know. standing it's in front. So like, what? Wait a minute. This it's better than hiding behind a but... barrel of tanning stuff. Okay. Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay. So you jump off the shelf, grab onto one of the chains, and start, like, without your legs, just fucking veining up the chain. Nice. So good. I'm a badass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I want to fuck with Enzio at the Tori. And then it goes to the wizard, who you're scorched, and there, oh. there's a wall. Stop, drop there's and a, roll. <laughs> Stop, there's a drop fog and roll. in the center of the room yeah. with fire <laughs> coming, like, you can't see more than, like, ten feet away from what you. The fuck? There's fire coming out in the middle, and you can see this huge burning blob just, like, like kind of, like, coming out of the flames. And it's on fire. I'm in the fog. Just be careful. This is true. <laughs> Do we want that fog, Ryan? Because if, th- if, I, if I thunder wave, could I blow everything out? Could I you blow could the fog? Including Bobby. Away, but he made the fog. So, can, do, do but at this point, do we need the fog anymore? Well, he's gonna turn I'm it off once it's his fog. turn. You're hiding in the I'm fog. I'm totally hiding. Once in the it's fog. his turn, he's gonna turn the fog off because now the so. flames are there to cover you his eyes. Yeah, you can't see. Why don't you just? Well, with the like thunder wave, put up, put up the fire. Don't you have like a? No, the fire is created by him. He has it's to. Ma- you have he's to magically knock him sustaining off. it. You're just trying to combat all the spells he's laid down. Take one of your healing spells and heal yourself. I know that things blew up with him, so I wasn't sure. Okay. um... In the blobs in the fog. Yep. Where the fuck? Can I see the blob? If I shot Yeah, you can see the blob. Okay. All right. Why do you want to shoot the blob for? Well, something's going to happen to the blob. Okay. <laughs> what do you. You're going upstairs. You know what I would do? Yeah, I'm going to force you upstairs. I'd rather jump out a window. Thing, but... Did you remember the spell dimension? I do have dimension door. Do you go upwards? Then why don't I go up? With me. Yeah, we should have two people going up there, because if yeah. you get stuck up there and there's something up there, you're yeah. screwed. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, dimension door. I'll take care of this blob guy. <laughs> you kind of right. caused the, the wizard's kind of like torch, and all of a sudden he's just like, <laughs> he just disappears and appears up on the stairs upstairs. 
Masturbation. What was it? Masturbation. That's what we're about to watch. You see him being up there, and the wizard just like, and you just see him disappear and appear upstairs. I'm like, ah. Is he panting upstairs? Like, okay, that leaves the next thing to go. Thumbs upstairs is pants around his ankles. The blob. The blob. You see the blob split into two forms. Oh, Bob, why did I leave you? <laughs> I shouldn't have left you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Chester. What's your AC? It's worth a good 18. All right. You see two pseudopods just like slap, and you're like beating them back with your staff. Good. <laughs> uh, then it goes, you got, well, you just climbing up the chains. You teleport up there. As you see that, you see a shadowy figure climbing up a rope ladder through one of the vents on the ceiling. Can I go after Teleport this again. Guy? Yes, can I teleport above to where he's going to meet him, to surprise him right there? Uh, you've never seen it, but you can visualize what it would look like. At the roof. Yeah, I'm assuming he's going to the roof. How many feet north, uh, top do you want to? Well, oh, how far away is he? How far away is he right now? Brian's not good at math. What'd you say? <laughs> how far away is he right now? No, you're going upwards. He's trying to tell you how far up in the sky yeah, you want to Yeah, I want to know how far this guy, I want to know where the guy is. Are you just going to visualize the top of the roof and teleport there? And hope you get up there? I'm assuming it's a roof. There's only okay, two remember, floors. I'm on the second floor. Twelve inches is one foot. Yeah, I know. Three feet <laughs> is one yard. How hard do you want to teleport, Drew? He's saying. How high is the roof from where I am? You have you to have judge it. 20 feet. If it's 20 feet, then I'll go 20 feet. No. That's a trick question. <laughs> you listen to him. He's trying to make you teleport into the roof. That's 20 feet to the roof. Then you're to think there's more space above that to actually get to the top of the By roof. By how much? By. So you want to go like oh, 21 feet. 27. 27? That way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I could do a three point landing right on him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, All right I'll split the. I'll, I'll do a twenty. I'll do twenty-four feet. Okay. Uh, it's not if actually you did your turn. Twenty, you would have. You know. Uh, they the roof. Like, is oh, that'll be lame. That's what would happen. <sighs> My feet blob, stuck. Blob split into two things. Not very good. Okay. Should I just get the hell out of there? No, or should I just keep? I want to throw my lightning at him or something. It's gonna keep on doing damage, some right? Yep. Oh, the yeah. If the flames are keep. All right, roll five d eight. I have a movement right after this, right? Oh yeah. Okay. Five d eight. Yep. Okay. That's a pretty powerful flow. Come on, Bob. We got fate in you. Come on, Brad. Two, eight, and a five. That's thirteen plus three. Fifteen. 15. Two of these. Eight and an eight. Sixteen. Ooh. Sixteen. Up. Oh. Yeah. He's pretty good with the eight. With the eight. Golf slap. Thank you. <laughs> All right. I One of the, 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 the puddings is starting to, like, curl in on itself. Not to my pudding pop. I would like <laughs> They're to. They're called black puddings. Black puddings? Not to my pudding pop. My pudding pop. I would like to try to move somehow away from the stronger move one. Move if you want to move. Move okay. if you want to. And not actually get an attack on me. So should I move like further into the, like the shelving area? You can move slowly so they can't get attacked. Yeah, yeah just backing up. All right, just you keep... start backing off. And you're fighting off the pseudopods with your staff. Good. All right. And uh, what are you going to do, Bane? Bane. Uh, just, all I can see is Dark Knight comes, comes down the chain. <laughs> yeah. and spider, uh, I take uh, the power Batman. from you. You mm -hmm. sense power Powerful. over you. Just because you're stronger than me. Uh, I'm going to follow up the rope ladder. Okay. This one's not as hard as climbing up the train. So you do that. Then I'm kind of figured. So. Kazab teleports up there as he's just going floor mm -hmm. to floor. You, you, you're, you appear a little over the thing, but you just... Come down to it. Yes, yeah. yeah. Yahoo! And Three point landing. 
feel like a face plant landing <laughs> yeah. with you. It's awesome being a wizard, isn't it? Yeah, just yeah, go right like, up there. Mm. I'm gonna hang up there and see you this see, guy. You see uh, the guy, he turns around and looks at you. You're coming out the hole behind him, mm. and you, you just see the wizard appear on the rooftop. You see <laughs> made a large brute of a man. Cool. You, you notice that his skin has cracks in it. Salmon Grundy. And you can see leaves and branches poking through, oh. rolling around oh. underneath his skin. Every once in a while, he, he coughs, and you see a few leaves come out of his mouth. He's a walking tree. Where are you? <laughs> There's like yeah, an elf. We need you. Light him on fire. Blame we need you. Burn. No, but he's a walking tree. Make he's a tree herder. Is he part of your leaf crew that is really <laughs> that, pissed off with that's you? That's what I'm thinking. He's a tree herder. But wasn't he like a dark elf that... The leaf crew... I mean, he's a tree and his skin is like in disguise. Okay, uh, the pseudopods try to attack you again. You continue to hold them off. And then we go back to the top of the order. You. Are you going to maintain the fire? Teleport out of there. We'll need you on the roof. Teleport out of there. Let the blob burn. If I let go, if I, if I warp up, it's going to release the spell. My wall of fire yes, ends. The fire is still going because all the stuff you ignited is still going. No, but not on the blob itself, though. Hey, Meg. Hmm. You're a druid. There's a tree guy on the roof. Hence, we need your assistance. The blob thing's not going to be able to get up there. Ugh, I don't well. know. No, you know what? I'm going to. Sorry, dude. Come on, you, there's two of you. You guys got them. Exactly. I'm going to stay on the floor. Yeah, you got to stay there. Walk back more and keep it going. All right, roll. Okay. Mark, do you think we should uh, get this? I don't know. We should. There's four. There's no I'll interrogating one one this guy. Just kill him. Eight and seven is a 15. Wow. Wow, that's 30, and I do one more. 33. <laughs> <laughs> Josh is like, this isn't fair. All right, the fire just like consumes both the blobs and they just melt in the pools of blood. Nice. <sighs> Good job, I get up to the roof. Then it's you. I get the you. circlets on those. It goes to Enzio. Fire, just, um... Yeah. Mark, how about you get behind him on all fours and I'll push him so he falls. <laughs> <laughs> Her tree falls on the roof and no one. Her <laughs> tree's on a roof and falls. Is anyone around to hear? Yeah. Yeah. Aye, 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 aye. <laughs> <laughs> yell, timber. There's a falls. I don't want to just light him bolt and let him on fire. Yeah. If he's made out of wood. There's you a tree. Yes, yeah, so it wouldn't work on a Do tree, would it? Web. I don't. Don't have web. Do you have hold? Person. I do not. Um, I could just ring a ram and knock him over. That's about it. I have nothing to hold anybody. Ring a ram might be good. Because nothing else I do is going to do anything to it. It's like a crossbow and a dagger. You can and... stab him. Yeah, but it's a tree. Yeah, is it... It, it still does damage. Yeah, but I'll be stuck to him if I use a dagger. Sadly, I have no idea if this guy's a druid ent or anything of that sort. I'm going to use ring a ram. Okay, roll. How many charges? I'm going to do all three of them. Yeah. It sounds so depressed when you say that. Well, because it's like I have nothing else I could do. I'm going to do all three. 11 plus 7, 18. Yeah. You hit him. Roll 3d6. Nice, Mark. What eight. What did you get? The magical 8. All right, you hit him. Some of his skin flaps off, and you see like a puff of, like, you ever, like, Kick the bag of leaves when you leave. Yes. And it just goes flying <laughs> into the wind. So it doesn't. Nothing happens to him. He just stands. No, he, he's he's wounded. Oh. Like you're, but he just, just took off a chip of his skin. He like fall over. And, and now he's like hemorrhaging leaves. Oh. Let's light this bitch on fire. <laughs> I don't have any fire stuff. I'm gonna shoot him with a lightning bolt. All right, it's not your turn yet. Come on. It is. He's going down. All right, the thing rushes at you, Brian. Oh, Jesus. Oh, fire light his ass. Lightning bolt. Uh, Come on. I don't know. We're not going to interrogate this. This guy's just dead. He's just, he's 
But we know if this is Digby or not, though. That's the thing. Can you tell him? Can I ask you a question? Because mm -hmm. my, my memory is really fady, uh, starting through all the uh, the real time stuff I've done in my life. Um, didn't we piss off an elf before, and that elf was working for who? Oh my God, that's so way back. Uh, not the Leones. Um, no, no, no. Like, like, this really this is the person. Yeah. You're talking about the leaf people is, that yeah, came down yeah, on the this, village. Is this the Dark Lord? Is this yeah, the? Yeah, yeah. No, that wasn't no, for that. They were Those were working, working for, for the Dark Elf. Okay. Or the Dark World. They were trying to clean the house of the town. They were, they were like Ra Ra's al Ghul kind of did people. Did we give them something so they wouldn't No, we ran them? away. We did give them. No, we no, did you, give you, them you, something. You gave them a beating and ran away. Yeah. So we uh, actually still have the Beholder flask and everything of that sort. Yeah. Yeah, we kept everything. Oh, good. All right, you are down to 15. Oh, my God. And basically, you see... You basically came up and you blasted him and puffed all of these leaves. Yeah. You see him run Towards right Brian. up to him. He hits him with both of his arms and just bear hugs him. And you see Brian just disappear into the leaves. What? Help me. <laughs> Help me. And it's now Chester's turn. I got to teleport, teleport up. Oh, Jesus. Two floors. I'm inside leaves. Uh, during the your turn, you take... Uh, Additional 15 points of damage, and you're down to zero. Who? What? So you. From the beating of all the leaves Me? and branches Oh, you. Inside. You're dead again. Oh. You could have made a strength check to get out, but since it reduces you get zero. Bumped, you get bumped off okay. a lot. So teleport this up for, yeah. to the roof. To the roof. See what's happening. You come up. You don't see Brian at all. You He's see inside him. inside the tree, dude. And you see the guy with like, no, like the skin on his face and his limbs. And he's just like bleeding leaves. Can I talk to him as like a final action before I'm in my turn? Uh, yeah. Is your name Digby? Ice. <laughs> <laughs> I was actually going to say something like that, believe it or not. <laughs> Are you Digby? Are no. You? No. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna talk in like <laughs> old dwarven tongue, hopefully, and just tell him we mean no harm. No, we mean no harm. harm. <laughs> I just ring ram the guy. I know. Stop what you're doing right now, or you will face the my end. wrath. <laughs> the end. Just the end. My wrath. The thing just kind of looks looks at you, and it snarls, and you see like like bark. As like formed as his teeth. Fire flame that motherfucker. Well, he's he's done for now. The fire, the his magical fire goes downstairs, yeah. but there's still fire coming up the walls, and ends you up. That was your whole move. Was asking a question. No, he teleported. Yeah. Oh man. Come oh. on, Mark. It's up to you to save Brian. Come on. You're my only hope. I guess I have to acid arrow it. I don't know if that's going to do okay. the tree thing, but we'll go for it anyway, see what happens. Nine plus seven, 16. 16? Yes. Uh, yeah, that hits. All right. We haven't damaged this guy yet. Oh, yes, we do. Bring him in. Excuse me. Plus five. Yeah. Pooped on it. Well, he failed, so the S is still working next oh, turn. Oh, there you go. Uh, then uh, after him goes the mound. And he then runs at Enzio. So he dropped Brian. No, Brian's still inside of him. Oh, he's yeah, running I'm with Brian inside. inside him? He does 13 damage. You can dodge. Take uh, 7. Yes. And that is his turn. It is now the wizard. I'm inside of him. I know. You take... 
Ten points of damage. Oh, shit. So you're minus a damage? negative ten? That's how you're dying. It's just, like, crushing brutalizing you and crushing your body. Sucking the fucking soul out of me. And now it is Chester's turn. I'm wicked scared. I'll swallow your soul. We gotta get him out of there. Come on. You do have a spell that's very good against plant creatures. I do. It's Blight. The Brian's in there. I could not do anything. Just Blight him. I have to Blight him. What flaming have spear? Him. What flaming spear? Oh, that's, yeah, but that's a. F- okay. Yeah, he's a big leaf creature, and I'm going to line him on fire with Brian inside of him. He's already dead, anyways. No, I'm not dead. He's not dead. I'm not dead yet. <laughs> yeah. I You'll it. be in a moment. There's no other option. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you bring out your blight. Is that your second, fifth yeah, level spell? Yeah, that's my there? second and fifth level spell. Today. You, you blight. All of a sudden, <laughs> the man with the last gas falls to his knees and begins coughing furiously, with leaves spewing out his mouth until his body begins to convulse in seizures and breaks apart into a pile of refuge. And Brian's body falls into the pile. The silence returns as the snow begins to gently conceal the remains of the brutal monster beneath its white purity. Suddenly, another series of explosions rips through the warehouse beneath you, and a section of the roof nearby collapses, and a column of smoke billows out of the hole. This entire warehouse is being engulfed in flames and is coming down. Run. Grab Let's me. Go. Run for the edge of the roof and right. jump off. Throw me uh, over your shoulder. You do notice in the pile of the refuge there are two gauntlets. And a bone statue. Oh, you grab that stuff. I'm going to grab Ryan. Sure. And how are you going to the ground? Jumping. Throw me. Let's go. Here's the thing. I've already done my, my fourth level spells. I do have air walk. Which is not. I can't cast it. Warrior!